Hi guys, today I'm going to introduce macros in Microsoft Excel. Okay, so a macro is, some, is very useful when you have something that you have to do every day or, or once every period that um, is very repetitious and requires the same exact format as the previous time and you don't want to actually do the whole thing over. So I came up with a very simple example to introduce this and also to illustrate uh, this without getting too complicated. Uh, let's say we have a list of people, let's say of employees, five or six employees, and we want to see their sales for the week, day by day, Monday through Friday, with the totals for that week as well as the totals for, for the entire day, each day. Um, this, you know, every week the sales are going to be different, but the general layout of this table is going to be the same. It's going to be employees kind of going down a column and the days going, five days going across the row. And inside the body of the table is going to be the actual sales for each person for each day. Okay. Now this chart, this setup with the columns and the rows is something that you don't want to have to type every day. Every, every time you do this every week and if there's five or six employees yeah it might not be a big deal but how about if it's a hundred two hundred different people and the columns are not just five days but something like you know 30 days or, or it could be something totally different I'm just sticking with this simple example okay so the way you could do that is you could record the creation of the table and then simply feed the numbers in manually or if it's coming in from some other uh, source some other file but we're focused on constructing the table once recording it and not having to do it again okay so the way you could do that is using a macro and uh, you could go to the view tab and under macros you can say record macro okay so what this does, it's kind of like you start recording what's going on. It's not really a time recording, more an action recording. Okay, so let's click record. It's going to ask me to name this. So I'm going to say emp for employee table. And I'm going to leave everything else blank. I could do a description here. It's good to do these things if you're doing this repeat uh, if you have a few of these you want to know what what this one was but for our purposes I'll just tell you that it's a good idea to write something here and I'll leave it blank hit OK and right now the macro is being recorded and if I go over here you'll see that record macro has been turned to stop recording so recording is going on right now so let's go ahead and cr create our table so I'm just going to choose a random cell in here, call this one, C, start from C4. Let's put the names. Let's say Mike, Mariah, Ellie, Mario, E. Denon, Andale, and let's say Brendan, and how about a Ralph too? Okay, let's mix it up, multicultural. And for this for the column headers as I said let's stick with just Monday to Friday and actually Excel smart enough to be able to fill that in we also want a total column here and we want a total row here okay let's say we want to bold this <clears throat> and we want to resize this all this is being recorded okay and we're quite happy with the names. Let's bold the total column. And let's also maybe create a grid pattern using borders in here. And that's our table. We're happy with it now. And what we're going to do is go over to view to the macros and say stop recording now because we're done. So we click stop recording. OK, so it's done. Now let's see. Now let's say a week rolls by and we have to do this again and we want we don't want to just do what we did here, right? We want to be able to just click one button and have this be automatically created for us. So here's our new sheet. And it's Monday and we have to create this sheet, <coughs> this table again. So we can go over to our macros 
and this time we're going to go to view macros click view macros and you're going to see we only have one macro here we're going to select that and we're going to click run and you see it automatically created that table for us like we had in sheet 5 now we have it in sheet 6 and next month rolls by we go to macro view macro click emp table that's the one we recorded run and boom it puts it exactly where we put it okay in the next video I'm going to show you how to make it so that you can have this table show up in any cell of your selection so because we recorded it starting in cell C4 when we play it it's gonna pay it's gonna create it in the same exact area C4 no matter how many times we do it there's also a way using relative references to record a macro and be able to have more flexibility as to where it actually pastes this table so in the next video I'm going to show you the difference between the macro we created here and using doing a macro with relative references so this was just a very basic introduction to macros I wanted to show you how uh, useful they can be especially if you have a repetitive process you have to do um, and it's actually not that difficult to use but you can actually get more advanced in this and take this over to Visual Basic and create a lot of custom tools that don't exist in Excel okay so till next time make sure to subscribe to my channel watch my other Excel access PowerPoint and math tutorial videos comment like and favorite until next time have a great day